The hunting season is on again, because in 2018 the legendary extraterrestrial menace, the Predator, will once again return to the big screen. It was already confirmed in 2016 that Shane Black would direct the sequel. Black himself already portrayed Hawkins in the first film and came up with some of the most iconic one-liners of the film. It bleeds. We can kill it. And now we already have the first pieces of information regarding the cast. While Key and Peel star Keegan Michael Key has already been confirmed, it now seems that Thomas, the Punisher Jane, and Olivia Munn are also set to join the cast. In addition to that, Boyd Holbrooks has also been confirmed and will portray an ex-marine that is trying to prove the existence of aliens while no one seems to believe him. The last confirmed cast member is Jacob Tremblay, who many viewers will recognize from Room. Tremblay will portray the autistic son of the ex-marine, who will play a key role in the battle against the hunter, thanks to his extraordinary ability to learn new languages. Whether or not that means that the boy will be able to actually understand and speak the alien language of the predator in the film has yet to be confirmed. Since the overall plot of the film is still shrouded in secrecy and we still don't know whether it's going to be a sequel or a spin-off, many people refer to it as a reboot quill. This is why we now present you 5 things that the Predator should consider. The actual hunt. What made the John McTiernan classic so special was the fact that the Predator itself was cloaked and invisible for the majority of the film. She says the jungle just came alive and took it. That gave the film a claustrophobic vibe in a giant jungle. The creature could strike at any given moment, which made the movie so suspenseful. Group dynamic. The charisma and chemistry between the main characters is every bit as important as the threat that the predator poses. Dylan! You son of a bitch! The first film had a team that functioned like a well-oiled machine. We got to know the little quirks of the characters. Bunch of slap jawed faggots around here. This stuff will make you a goddamn sexual tyrannosaurus. Just like me. And spend some time with them on their rescue mission before the hunt began. This is why they matter to us. A fun bunch of main characters who are individually interesting and work well together is something that we want to see. Fan service. If we're taking the Alien vs Predator films into account, then The Predator will be the sixth installment of the franchise. This is why we want to see cameos or references to the previous installments, especially to the first film. And let us all be honest, if an old Han Solo works, then Arnie should be able to portray an older version of Dutch. Yeah. Stick around. Predator culture. The hunter from space is an interesting creature that in comparison to the xenomorph is highly intelligent and makes use of advanced technology. But an even more important aspect of the so-called Yautias, which is the real name of the predator species, is their culture, which is very reminiscent of that of ancient warriors. Honor and strict rules are part of that culture. However, the movies did not really explore this predator culture too much, which is why now seems like a good time to do exactly that. What the hell are you? Don't go easy on us. The original movie is first and foremost a rough action flick with many graphic sequences. <laughs> And this is exactly what we want to see in The Predator. The Yautia is supposed to frighten us once more and the action should not be sugarcoated. Alien vs Predator already did that. You're hit. You're bleeding, man. I ain't got time to bleed. What do you think of The Predator? Are you looking forward to it? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you'd like to learn more about Star Wars Episode 8 or the Uncharted film, then check out these videos.